I'm calling to a similar question. I had bought a car also, okay. and uh, I drove it home, and, and the next day I went to take it to get an oil change, and uh, so far I've been out of $1,400, and I took it back to the dealer to try to trade it in for a different car, sure. and they wouldn't let me trade it in. I even offered to pay the difference in a car, and they wouldn't. And he okay. tried to sell me a three-month insurance, which is $400 for three months, with a $100 deduction. And not, I feel like he not only scammed me, he's trying to scam an insurance company now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and he may be. You know, unfortunately, when you're buying a used car, Kirby, I think, I think this is right. When, a lot of times when you buy a used car, they should have one of those stickers on the window that says that there's no warranty uh, or that it has a warranty. And a lot of times with used cars, it's so important for you to take it to an independent mechanic, get somebody else to look at it, make sure that it's in the best condition that it can be for, for you and for your needs. Because if you uh, buy a vehicle that uh, with no warranty, a used car, and it breaks down, I think for the most part, it's kind of yours. Is that, is that your take on it, Kirby? David, that, that's fundamentally right. But one thing that I would encourage people to do, ask, 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 ask questions about the car you're buying. When you buy a car from a dealership, a used car, they are obligated to tell you the truth when you ask them a question about it. Now, the truth may be that they don't know, and that's a fair answer. But ask, ask about the engine, ask about the drivetrain, ask if it's been wrecked. But be careful of that arbitration agreement because mm -hmm. it's probably going to be in that contract. All right, we need to take our first break.